Hi guys! In this video, we will discuss more about chain rule. So this will be the second part of our chain rule tutorial. So in the first part, we discuss the formula for the chain rule wherein if we have a function y given by the composite function f of g of x, we have this formula for the chain rule y prime equals f prime of g of x times g prime of x. So basically, I introduce you the outside inside function concept of chain rule. And we had some examples there wherein we decompose a particular composite function into its f of g, f of x I mean, and g of x. And we find one by one the part f prime of g of x and g prime of x and then multiply them to find the final answer for, for y prime. So now we will have just more examples on finding the derivatives of composite functions. So these are the particular examples that we will have. So as you notice, they are more complex than the previous ones. So in this video, we will just practice uh, solving complicated uh, uh, composite functions. So, actually, they are a uh, series of composite functions wherein we have to differentiate them using chain rule more than once since they are uh, composite functions, they are more than one composite functions. But in this case, we will have to solve them instantly, wherein we will not have to decompose the functions into its f of x and g of x and find one by one the component of the formula so that we can practice ourselves in solving instantly. So let's try our first example. We have... Number 1, y is equal to sine squared of quantity 6x cubed plus 6x squared plus 1. So, I can rewrite it at first to be sine of 6x cubed plus 6x squared plus 1 quantity raised to squared so they are just the same so let's solve it by applying the chain rule so at first you notice that this is uh, not just a single composite function because in fact we have two composite functions here so the first part will be the outermost function will be this quantity that is raised to the power of 2 being the outermost function and the inside function will be another composite function of sine of 6x cubed plus 6x squared plus 1 wherein we can take the sine as the, out, the, as the outer function and the inner function will be the polynomial 6x cubed plus 6x squared plus 1 so in this part we will use chain rule twice but remember the concept that if you have uh, more than one uh, composite functions you must have to start the chain rule on the outermost function then eventually you will go inner mo inner at the inner part of the function so let's start so let's have the outermost function to be this quantity is to the power of 2. So we can have its derivative by applying power formula. So we have 2 times copy the inside function of 6x cubed plus 6x squared plus 1. And then multiply 1 by the exponent. So we'll have 1 here. But no need to write. So just take it as that. And then proceed to the derivative of t inside function so first let's uh, have the derivative of sine of 
this polynomial which is a composite like what I've said so let's take the sign as the out outermost function and the inside as the po as this polynomial so the derivative of sine will be cosine and copy the inside polynomial which is 6x cubed plus 6x squared plus 1 and then let's multiply it by the inside function which is the innermost function which means that it will be the last part since it's no longer a composite function it can only be differentiated using po uh, power formula since they are all polynomials so the derivative will be 18x squared plus 12x plus 0 or no need to write so just end it there and then we're done with the differentiation and so all we have to do is to simplify so we can rearrange this to be I want this quantity to be written in front so I guess write it here 2 times 18x squared plus 12x times copy the remaining sine of 6x cubed plus 6x squared plus 1 times cosine of 6x cubed plus 6x squared plus 1 so that will be the final answer Now, let's proceed to the second example. Which is, y is equal to ln or natural logarithm of square root of tan of x squared. So again, I will rewrite this function first as ln of quantity tan of x squared all over to one half since square root means raising the quantity to a power of one half so apply only uh, let's apply a uh, chain rule again by noting that the outermost function will be the ln and the derivative of ln will be 1 over the quantity. So we will just have 1 over whatever is our outside, out, outside uh, whatever is our inside function. So we'll have uh, uh, tan of x squared quantity raised to 1 half. And then the inside function. So the inside function will be at first the uh, quantity raised to 1 half. The inside will be the tan x squared. So its derivative will be 1 half times tan of x squared and base to 1 half minus 1 using power formula will be negative 1 half and then the inside will be the tangent of x squared so the derivative of tan will be second squared of x where inner x here will be the x squared and then for the last part the derivative of x squared as the innermost function will be simply 2x Therefore, we're, do we're done. All we have to do is to simplify the expression. So, let's have to cancel first the one half. And let's try to bring down the negative one half exponent since it's negative. So, we will have copy first the remaining for our, com for our numerator which is x and x and second squared x squared so x of second squared x squared over so we will have tan of one half times tan of one half so it will 
add up to simply tan of x squared right because we have one half plus one half will be one so tan of x squared so that's it that's our final answer so our y prime will be x of second squared x squared over tan x squared so we will proceed to the last part so for the last example we have y is equal to the cosine of natural logarithm of 2x to the fifth plus 5x squared quantity cube so again let's start with the outermost function which is the cos cosine so y prime will be the derivative of cosine is negative sine and just copy whatever is inside so ln of 2x to the fifth plus 5x squared quantity cube and then let's proceed to the derivative of the inside so the next outer part will be the ln so its derivative will be 1 over whatever the inside so this time the inside is 2x to the fifth plus 5x squared quantity cube and then the next outer will be the this quantity raised to cube so using power formula we have 3 times copy the inside which is 2x to the fifth plus 5x squared then subtract 3 by 1 so it will become 2 and then for the last part differentiate the innermost function which is just this polynomial so using power formula again the derivative will be 10x to the fourth plus 10x so that uh, we are already done with the differentiation so we'll just simplify it so let's start by noticing that we can cancel this and we will have remaining of one okay so let's rewrite it as let's put it as three times this quantity of 10 x to the fourth plus 10 x negative of sine of ln of 2 x to the fifth plus 5 x squared quantity q all over the remaining one 2 x to the fifth plus 5 x squared so that will be the final answer so that's all for this video guys i hope you learn more from chain rule topic especially from this from the differentiation of these composite functions which are more complicated ones so see see you again for more videos and thank you